Hello, welcome back. Uh, okay, I'm gonna make this really quick, as quick as I can. I just wanted to show how my homemade oil seal press works for my 1978 Honda Express moped, NC50. So, these oil seals down here, they need to be pressed in. And Honda requires you to get a special tool that you put on here and pushes them down. That's unavailable anymore because it's a 46 year old bike. So what I did was I cut a piece of PVC pipe. This is a three quarter inch PVC pipe. Um, and it fits the right height here because I cut it down, but it didn't fit the diameter of this hole. So what I did was I can see I beveled the edges on my bench grinder and it fits just perfect, you know, right about where it's supposed to fit squarely. And a simple washer that fits over here. Okay. And then I took the, well, on this is, this is the clutch side. So what I did is I took the nut for the clutch and the washer for the clutch, placed it over, cranked it down. And I had to secure the crankshaft very professionally by the way, by putting something in here to keep it from moving. I put the nut on, cranked it down until that oil seal seated properly. And I did the exact same thing respectively on the stator side. So I used the stator nut on the other side uh, to do that. I just replaced the stator today so I can't show you the oil seal but I did replace the stator and I used this nut and this washer in the exact same fashion I just placed it over and cranked it down securing the crankshaft so it wouldn't wiggle around and that's it if you don't have special tools because they don't make them after 46 years you make your own special tools so that's all that is right there a basic oil seal press that you can make at home if you've got a moped or an older vehicle or whatever you make work so i made it work and it actually worked out really really well uh the only problem i'm having is that there's an oil seal that belongs here this is the original one for the output shaft uh, this was a beat piece of shit. So I actually bought another one, which is this one. And I was going to hammer it down with this guy, which is a coupling for a three-quarter inch pipe, which fits perfect, actually. Uh, but apparently I fucked it up. I don't know how he did it. I was expecting to fuck up at least one oil seal. And this is the one I fucked up. So I'm waiting for another one to come so that I can replace and uh, keep keep moving on. Um, I'm also having a hard time finding this rear output bearing. I figure Treatland would have one, but they don't. As far as I've been able to research them, this one still feels good. Don't get me wrong. Um, it's a sealed bearing. I'm not a fan of those, um, but yeah, I would have liked to have found another one, but it just, it still runs. It's, it's still tight, but yeah, I, I would have liked to have gotten another one, but I'm having a hard time finding it. So I think I'm just going to try and oil it up, see what it does and leave it be for now. So that's that. I just wanted to show the oil seal press. If you can't find 46-year-old special tools from Honda, you can make them. Just like I made this one. And just like I used this jaw puller right here as a case puller and as a puller for the magneto for the stator. Uh, yeah, so that's how I got the stator out. I used this guy. I didn't use a try. I used a buy because this one is convertible into a, a buy puller. 
or you can use it as a tri puller. Tri puller works for pulling the case. Bipolar works for pulling the stator. And I'm praying I didn't do any damage to it because it was a little snug when I did it. But anyway, that's that. Try to make it pretty quick. And uh, there you go. Special tool. Special tool bypassed. Uh, I like this one though, which is the holder for the flywheel and for the uh, clutch. That worked out really well. And the clutch puller worked out really well. So that's actually one, two tools, specialty tools I was able to find. And obviously, oil seal puller, just for pulling out the old oil seals, works great. So, um, bingo, bango. That's that. So now I'm waiting on my oil seal to get here before I can put this back together. And I can put all my gearing back in, my chain, my clutch, which I, I kind of want to do before I get too heavily involved and I'm probably going to put the case back on uh, before I put anything else back on like the reed valves or the uh, intake so or the oil pump so I want to kind of go in the correct reverse order so and I need like three more cans of brake cleaner to blow all this shit out so there you go. And that's how you press your oil seals in. It worked really, really well. But that's all it is. Tiny little piece of PVC pipe and a washer. And it worked out really good. So can't complain. All right. Have a good one. Be safe.